Hi, friend. This is Prasad, and then you're watching RBA with Prasad. Today, I come up with a new real game scenario. Let's discuss what's the scenario. Here, I do have two tables one is orders, and then one is range. In orders, let me show you the table. Uh, I do have okay, in sales uh, in different segments and for different products, and these are in sales. And then we do have another table where the sales were need to be segregated in this particular range. So they gave the titles and then the lower limit and upper limit. Based upon this, we need to segregate the sales and then we, we need to show the total sales in that particular range. This is our scenario. And then this is how it was done. And then they have um, the range over here. And then if we fill with that, we need to show only that ranges. And this is total sales whose sales come into this particular range. So let us suppose in this particular case, lower is nothing but the sales which are, are less than 100. So you can see from here, so I do have a lot of different kinds of, okay, ranges of sales. You can see from here, 261, 731, and then 40, 957, 22, and then 48, seven, $907, $18, one one four dollars and then one seventy six like one seven zero six like different ranges of sales. So again, they need to segregate all the sales which are below. Like they do have some ranges. The first range is from zero to hundred, and the second range is from hundred one at one at one to like thousand, and then third one is like thousand one to like ten thousand. So let's have a look into that one also, like ranges, so that you can understand. So. The lower range is from zero to 100. All the sales which are okay, less than 100 comes into lower range. And then the, the middle range, okay, the sales which are from one at one to like 1,000, it will come into this range. And then they need to find the total sales okay, as per the range. This is what they require. And then uh, we'll solve this. This is a very easy example. I'll explain you how to do that. Before going into the solution, small intro. Like we are starting new Power BI and SQL batch very soon. And then if you are really interested, okay, you can uh, contact on this particular number. They go with a lot of okay, real-time uh, examples in the real-time scenarios, then complete Power BI uh, with two pilot projects and then one real-time project, complete role level security, complete Power BI services. And including that, we do have a job support uh, uh, procedure. So we do a lot of things like how to prepare resume, how to like get more calls, how to build your profile, and then how to crack the interview very easy, what are the tips and tricks, and then dumps, and then material, PDF material, a lot of things we'll provide. So if anybody interested to have, okay, get trained with us, just ping us on this number, and then you can have uh, other details regarding that. So again, let's come back and then uh, find uh, what's the solution. So for that, to achieve this one, we can uh, create a simple measure, very easy. Okay, let me show you that measure and then let me explain you what's that exactly. So I want to calculate the total sales, sum of sales. And then I just need to apply some filters such that only that range uh, of sales need to be segregated and then calculated. That is my concern. But then again, first thing is like calculate and sum of order sales. Here we are calculating total sales and we do have filter condition. What is that? The first condition is either you can write, okay, so let us suppose that in two ways, if you want to make it hard coded, okay, without using okay selected value, or something else, you can make it hard coded also. Like if say, all order sales is greater than zero and order sales is less than or equal to like 100, you can make it and then you can keep it as first measure. And again, there will be like other, other situation that you need to create multiple uh, measures for multiple ranges. And then again, all, all the measures you need to show them in rows. Okay, you need to use some switch cases and then like we need to create another measure to show like whether for this particular range, okay, this measure, this measure like that, but blah, blah, blah. I don't want to make you all those okay difficult things. Let's make it a dynamic measure so that it calculates as per that particular okay, title, okay, it will take that particular lower range and the upper range, which we already seen, and then it will calculate that one. How it will that? How it will be done? So first of all, order sales should be greater than select 
expected value of range of lower limit. So we do have particular column and then a table and then we do have a column for that. So for lower range, the lower limit is zero and the upper limit is like this one. So we are, we are filtering the sales which are in between them. So that is the scenario. So again for that, let's go into the explanation. So order of sales should be greater than selected value of range of lower limit. Here we all know that measure is filter context. It will take the current context as filtered. So right now, if we go for selected value of lower limit, it will, for this particular row, it will show the lower limit of this particular range, not other ranges. So here, this is going to be filtered uh, on like my measure and then it is showing if I ask for okay uh, the lower limit it will shows only the lower limit of this one so here my lower limit is for lower range is zero and the order sales should be less than or equal to like upper range upper range of this particular lower range is upper limit of this particular lower range is 100 so obviously all the sales which are okay in zero to 100 for this particular row will be placed over here. Again, it will go to the next row and then it will find in such a way that, okay, so what is the lower range and the upper lower limit and the upper limit for the middle, it will check. And then it will take that one over here and it will calculate that one and it will show that. In that way, for each and every filter context or else each and every current context, it will calculate by taking that lower limit or upper limit of that particular range. This is what uh, 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 the filter function or else okay, selected value will do. So hope you people understand. If you, people, if you don't understand, comment me. I can make it okay, some more explanatory video. So again, like we can filter that one. So if you filter that one, so this row will shows only that particular range and then that sales you can see over here. Let's see. I place that particular measure over here this particular table. So I took this measure into this and then you can show this. In one single measure, you can change, you can show dynamically the range of sales as per the ranges, lower limit and upper limit. So again, I'll come up with a new uh, scenario. And until then, bye bye, take care, and then have a great day. Please like and share the video. Thank you, have a great day. And again, like we are having a Telegram and then YouTube channels, as you already know. Like, okay, please subscribe to my Telegram channel. Okay, regularly I'm posting you know, job offers and then postings and a lot of materials and a lot of okay, uh, content. So please try to join our Telegram channel and then that will be useful for you. Thank you. Have a great day.